gave me this nuzzle in the back of the head, which is where I have my wounds from the war. Welcome back to another episode of Steva Spotlight. I'm Sarah Hand, and today we are in Glendon, Minnesota at That's the Dream Farm. I'm Don Robson, and I am the owner of That's the Dream Farm. This farm offers a peaceful place for healing and growing, and today their focus is on veterans to help them refresh and connect. Inhale again, nice full breath in. Our VA Fridays throughout the summer, so we do a goat yoga session with our veterans um, with the Whole Health VA, and then we do our uh, annual open house in August, and as well as we do Legacy Children's Foundation, and then we've hosted different uh, staff retreats. As an example, we did one with hospice this year for children in grief. The dream probably started about six years ago as the dream, literally. I would tell people what I wanted to do and then I would say, well, that's the dream anyway. In my words, uh, That's the Dream Farm is a place where you get to be able to come and refresh and relax and reconnect with yourself, but also learn to reconnect with others and learn healthier relationships and healthier principles. We have other programs that do like physical therapy, OT, occupational therapy kind of stuff, but not the emotional support. And so I found natural lifemanship, which was way beyond what I imagined was even possible. It's uh, trauma-informed care and also emotional uh, relationship learning through relationship with the horses and you learn relationship skills for human relationships. And sometimes that connection might be first made with an animal for someone. Rosie, our uh, Nakota horse, we have, we have a really good connection. And she was over out in this other pasture while we were in the cottonwood pasture, and she was just standing there. And you can, you can feel that connection, and then she was like looking at me, and I was looking at her, and I could tell like she wanted me to go up and see her. And so I went straight over here to Rosie, and she was standing by this gate, and she just sat there and put her head down on me. And so I wrapped my arms around her and kind of just gave her a really big hug. She's like a cat version of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Just the sweetest little thing, our gentle giant. I have a special relationship with Raf. Yes, oh, I know, yes. Such a good girl. Last year, when we first came out, she kept coming up to me and she actually pulled my hair. She immediately recognized that my migraines were kicking in. She kind of gave me this nuzzle in the back of the head, um, which is where I have my wounds from the war. Every time I come, she always comes up and does the same thing. She gives me a nuzzle, give me a kiss. We work with Legacy Children's Foundation and one of the kids there, um, we do box breathing cards. So they have to learn to breathing exercises and we gave it to him one day and like what because the kid was so stressed about a test and so we were going through different ways to relax and uh recenter yourself and he came back the next time and he goes i didn't realize how good i was going to do on the test and then i realized i had the box breathing card with me and he asked his teacher if he could have it out while he did the test and he used it and he said he did better on the test than he was expecting because he used the box breathing card you will meet people here and they will become friends I want to see people get what we get out of it because there's more than just working with, like working with our clients. Um, we also get that personal growth with the horse connection on top of our client connection. So we see our clients build and build and get, get to where they want to be just as we get and we get there on our pathway. So it's, it's a great thing to see those relationships build and your relationships mend as well. With At The Dream Farm, we have to also work on ourselves to work with others because if we're not good, then others won't work with others. And so one of the big things for me is growing up, I got my permit and then I could never work through the problems of getting the license. It was always so terrifying for me. And as of yesterday, I got my license. And with that, I remembered I was sitting there and I was thinking, oh, like why? why am I doing this, like kind of downing myself. And then I remembered like, oh, we have these kids who go take tests and they just like, the story I told you, um, 
they go take these tests and they use the stuff that we're saying. So why am I doing not doing what I've always preached? So I just started doing our relaxed exercises. I started trying to um, relax my body, trying to breathe before my instructor came. And I think if I didn't do that, I think I would have failed the test. Think about how great it feels to be outside, be in the outdoors. Feel like I, this is, I'm just walking in my purpose. Like um, being able to do this for people uh, is just such, it, such a blessing. Imagine feeling your toes in the grass. And that's a wrap for this edition of Step a Spotlight. Um, I found myself a new friend. Her name is Amelia. And yes, she showed her face to all of the veterans today. She is a love bug. And it is true. Animals do really make the heart grow fond. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.